Mastitis treatment and control is one of the largest costs to the British dairy industry. Dealing with mastitis is time-consuming and can be demoralising to all involved with it on farm. Mastitis is a significant welfare issue for dairy cows, as well as resulting in lower production, increased costs and a poorer quality product. Finally, poor control of mastitis inevitably results in a greater need for the use of antibiotic treatments. This film is part of the AHDB Mastitis Control Series and we're going to look at how to use the mastitis pattern analysis tool in two short films. In this film, we will focus on how to convert your milk recording data into a usable format for the tool. The records you keep of clinical mastitis on your farm and the somatic cell count and other data which comes from milk recording can really help you better understand the specific mastitis issues on your farm and help identify what can be done to improve the control of mastitis in your cows. Here is James Breen to guide you through the process. So all of the information that are generated by milk recording organisations for your farm can be accessed and can be sent to you as an electronic file and this is known as a CDL or a common data layer file. A CDL file of your herd's data, well you can get that from the Cattle Information Service, CIS, National Milk Records, NMR and Quality Milk Management Services, QMMS. All of these organisations can make a CDL available and you can get this via a download. Full information on how to access these CDR files from your milk recording organisation can be found on the AHDB Dairy website by searching for the Mastitis Pattern Analysis tool. If you have any problems, you can speak to the help desk at NMR, CIS or QMMS about how to get hold of your CDL file on a regular basis. Permission can also be given for this CDL data file to be shared with your vet or your farm advisor. And in order to use the AHDB Dairy Mastitis Pattern Analysis tool, your CDL file uh, will need to be converted into a format which the tool can understand and use. And this is what we're going to do in this first video. We've provided an electronic converter tool. This has been developed and distributed by QMMS Limited and Summit Software. And this converter tool is designed to take your milk recording CDL file, create an output with mastitis and cell count data, and then use this in the AHDB Mastitis Pattern Analysis tool. Specifically, what the CDL Converter tool is doing is creating what's called a comma separated values file or a CSV file, and this contains 18 months worth of clinical mastitis and cell count parameters in a specific format. And then we're going to use this CSV file in the second video, import this and use in the Mastitis Pattern Analysis tool. So having got our CDL file, our common data layer, from the milk recording organisation that you use, we now need to convert this data ready for use with the mastitis pattern analysis tool in the second video. So what we've done here is, is we've come to the AHDB Dairy webpage, search for mastitis pattern analysis tool, and here we are, and there's a link halfway down the page where we can download the CDL converter made by QMMS and Summit. So I'm just going to click on this link now and we're going to take you through the various steps in order to run and put this onto your machine. So I'm just going to hit the run button here. It's going to download the CDL converter from the web page. This may take a few seconds depending on the speed of your Wi-Fi and your internet connection. And when it's finished, we'll be ready to install it. Nearly there. The first thing you'll see is because the CDL converter tool is what's called an EXE file, a lot of antivirus softwares don't like this, so you automatically get this option, don't run. Please ignore that, click on the more info button, and you'll have an option to run anyway. We're going to run anyway, and then we'll be able to install by pressing the yes button, the converter tool on your machine. You get this welcome page, first of all, I'm going to hit the next key and this is now going to download the file. It's just telling you where it's going to put it on your machine. Just hit the next key again for this. We'll get a status bar as the download happens and the converter tool is being placed onto your machine.
we don't have to restart the computer. I'm going to hit no and we're going to hit finish. Now what I'm going to do is just minimize the web page. Don't worry about any messages that flag up. And here is what we've just downloaded. Get rid of that. CDL to MCP converter. I'm just going to double click on this now. Hit yes. And we're left with the CDL mastitis data converter ready for use with your CDL that you've accessed from NMR, CIS or QMMS. So now what we're going to do is use the first option here, load CDL. I'm going to click the button and first of all we're going to have to find your CDL file that you've been emailed or you've downloaded. I've got a few here ready and I'm going to pick uh, Stephen's CDL file. I'm going to double click on that and off the converter file goes going through all of Stephen's data it's going to read the CDL first and of course depending on the size of your herd this may take a couple of minutes or up to 10 minutes we've got to look for all the animals in the herd first of all and this is going through parity information calving date information line numbers etc we've got a status option here before then the converter tool goes looking for clinical mastitis cases and somatic cell count information. This is quite a big herd, this is 200 odd cows, shouldn't take too long to go through the animal records. What we also need to remember with CDL files is depending on what else you tell your milk recorder, for example lameness treatment options, mastitis cases which we hope are in there and other information the CDL file could be quite detailed and there therefore could be additional records held against the animal. This is a good quality CDL file which is why I've picked it for this demonstration and as you can see it's taking a little while to get through the animal records. Have some patience with this once the animal records are done it's very quick to go through the mastitis and cell count data. Here we are now going through the event records. If at any point the converter tool uh, isn't working, there is phone support available here. There's a telephone number at the bottom. And sometimes you may need to update the program itself. So you may get a message saying, please update, in which case you just click down here where it says update program and the software will automatically update itself. As I say, this software is designed and distributed by QMMS and Summit. This is free to use. Here's the additional milk recordings going in now. This is all the cell count information. And we're finished. So your herd name will appear in this central box. Obviously for anonymization purposes, we've grayed this out. It'll tell you how many cows are in the herd. And now you'll see the next option is the ability to merge in any additional clinical mastitis data. So if you prefer not to tell your milk recording organization cases of clinical mastitis, we have the option to take this in separately on a spreadsheet. Stephen does tell his milk recorder clinical cases and I would urge you to do this and share this information, it's very important. So we're now ready to click the last button, which is to output the data we need for use with the pattern analysis tool. I'm just going to click that output button. You see there you then have a date. So important to just pause for a minute and think, for example, if you're a block carving herd, you may wish to make sure, uh, for example, in an autumn block carving herd that we have August, September and October together. So we need to think working backwards from this date. Stephen has obviously milk recorded on the 11th of March. He is an all year round calving herd. So if I go backwards from the 11th of March, I'm going to have February, January, December as a three month block. I'm going to have November, October and September as a three month block. So I'm going to have winter months. I'm going to have autumn months. That's fine for the purposes of the tool. I'm going to click proceed now and it's going to ask me where I would like to save the CSV file made from the cell count data and the clinical mastitis cases. I'm just going to put it up here 
on uh, the desktop. I'm just going to put it onto the desktop here for ease so I can find it again. And now the data converter is going to drop out 18 months worth of information, all of Stephen's cell counts, all of the clinical mastitis cases, and working backwards from the 11th of March. It's also doing some other quite neat little things. So you can see their cure rates. For example, we can look at the cure for new clinical mastitis cases based on what happens to the individual cell count of that cow afterwards. And it's also going to look for some of the parameters in heifers. For example, heifers that are calving in and reporting a high cell count at the first recording. There go the cure rates in there for cows. We'll shortly do it for heifers. There's the heifer data going in. And shortly, we'll have our CSV file made and we'll be ready to move on to the second video. Just tidying up. And we're finished. At this point, you can now close the CDL mastitis data converter. We don't need to keep this up. We're now going to look at the use of the CSV uh, file information in the second video with the pattern analysis tool. In summary, you should now know how to get your CDL file with all your mastitis data from your milk recording organisation, how to install the CDL converter tool, and how to use it to convert the CDL file into a CSV file, which can now be imported to the mastitis pattern analysis tool. The next video in this series will look at the process of using the CSV file in the mastitis pattern analysis tool, which will help with making better decisions about mastitis management in your herd. For more information regarding mastitis control and the mastitis pattern analysis tool, visit mastitiscontrolplan.co.uk or dairy.ahdb.org.uk forward slash mastitis. We hope you found this film useful. To view the next film, follow the link on the screen.